Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite some time since I've made, made a video and uh, that's because I haven't had my car for almost a month now. Um, I sent it off to go get the uh, clutch and headers done and uh, he pulled the motor out of it uh, to do the work and turns out I needed a few more parts. Uh, my intake manifold was cracked and I it was a really long wait for a new one. But I did finally get one, and that's this right here, which I have been, uh, I painted in my ghetto little paint booth here. It came out all right, just a nice little uh, silver. Um, but we're also going to be doing the valve covers. And uh, the reason we're doing the valve covers is because we are putting cams in the car, so that's why they're off. So we're actually camming the GT. Um, we got a new... Trick flow upper plenum for this new intake manifold, and then we also have a uh, 75 mil throttle body, and a bunch of other new parts that are going on. The 410 gears are going on, and uh, a bunch of other things. But yeah, so uh, that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. We are going to be painting these right here. Uh, we're just gonna get them cleaned up, then we're gonna sand them, and we're gonna mask off what's not getting uh, painted and then we're just gonna hit it with the silver paint as well so hopefully these turn out okay they're pretty dirty um, but we'll, we'll get them cleaned up and then uh, yeah that'll be it so hopefully by next video I uh, I will have the car back we're pretty much right there at the end all we have to do is put in the parts and that's it most of uh, most of this past month has just been waiting and waiting and I actually had ordered an intake manifold online and I canceled the order because somebody on Facebook messaged me saying they have one for sale that they could sell me so I got that for about $150 cheaper than what I paid online uh, which was good and I didn't really have to wait I'm, I just wish it popped up a little bit sooner but what's important is I got it and it's ready to go on the car uh, that paint's pretty much dry so we're gonna be moving that and then uh, after we're done painting these here we're gonna put them in there and let it dry out. Um, probably gonna fix the garbage bag a little bit, but it should help it with the dust. But yeah, so we're gonna do these and uh, I'll cut straight to it. Well guys, it is now a day later and uh, we did make a bit of a mistake with these uh, valve covers here. We did not use primer on these. Uh, we probably should have used a self etching primer. Um, but you know, I did the intake manifold without any primer and it came out pretty good. So I figured why would I need it for this and uh, you know, this is a part with over 200,000 kilometers on it super dirty we got them cleaned up really nice then we started painting and there was a bunch of spots where the paint wasn't sticking so we did um, pretty much two medium coats I guess you could say uh, yesterday and then uh, waited until this morning and we sanded off a bunch of spots and then um, gave it another uh, we gave that one another coat I think we gave this one another coat as well um, and then we realized on the front here, this is the spot that's visible, um, there, the paint wasn't sticking again. It was like really noticeable. And there was also a bunch of other small spots where paint wasn't sticking. So um, that was this morning. And uh, about 12 hours later now, fast forward, uh, I came back and I sanded those spots and hit it with some paint again. Now from certain angles, you can really see the runs on this one, but there's honestly nothing we can do about that. I really don't want to sand it again. And uh, you can really tell where um, the paint wasn't sticking on this side as well. But it is what it is. I'm not going for perfection. And it's not like we're going to have people with 
magnifying glasses looking at my valve covers or my engine bay like it, it is a used part like you can see there's physical imperfections on them there's scuffs and whatnot on these valve covers but overall i think they look good i'm just gonna hit them with some clear coat in a few minutes here and then uh, hopefully that turns out okay and i'm just gonna call it because i want to get it back together i think they look nice it'll complement the engine bay a little bit so yeah all right guys so i guess this is gonna turn out to be one whole video where i guess i'm painting i painted my valve covers and my intake manifold but this feels like a quite a while ago now that i filmed the first part of this video and um we're like almost done with the car and we came across a problem where my uh, camshafts need new cam bolts so now we're stuck waiting for those and i ended up getting uh steeda pulleys for my car as well and uh i need a new bolt for the harmonic balancer and a friend of mine has said bolt and i'm going to go pick that up now and i'm also getting one of those uh, pinion snubbers for my rear diff so uh we're gonna head over there now and we're gonna check out his mustang because he has a pretty cool gt as well uh so we'll see how that thing is uh maybe he'll start it up for us if we're lucky uh it's a nice day out super super hot got an hour drive ahead of us so it's gonna be fun we'll see how this goes <laughs> so i am back home and i know this video has been kind of all over the place i haven't done one of these in a while so i don't know uh i haven't had the car so it's been a little uh, a little boring around here not gonna lie but honestly huge shout out to my friend jason for hooking me up with the uh little odds and ends that i needed this right here is one of those pinion snubbers for uh for lowered mustangs i'll pull it out of the the package for you and basically what this does is it absorbs impacts from your uh your rear diff so it sticks right above your uh your rear diff and then i believe when the car goes up and down since it's a solid rear axle um when it hits that there's a bushing already there to begin with but it's not very strong so that one's much stronger and uh car should ride a lot nicer with that especially when we decide to go a little lower but one of the bigger things that we really did need that he had for us was this this is a ARP harmonic balancer bolt and uh, the reason why we needed the harmonic balancer bolt is because we got the CETA underdrive pulleys I'll put that on the screen right now um, so apparently the ones from Ford are one-time use and this should solve our problem so this ran me about 60 bucks Canadian and that little uh, pinion number was 10 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, you can get those on LMR though, but I know a lot of H&R uh, kits come with those. That's where he got his. And then uh, another thing that was holding up our project, because uh, if I didn't mention this, we are camming the car. We put a new intake manifold, obviously, you saw in the video. Um, the pulleys, uh, trick flow upper plenum, and then a 75 millimeter throttle body. And then we also replaced the little things like uh, lash adjusters, valve springs, uh, valve stem seals, and then like all the timing components that were required. And then like a few gaskets here and there, like the oil pan gas gaskets and whatnot. Uh, but honestly, majority of this project has just been waiting for parts. Like I waited so long for the uh, intake manifold itself, and then I had to wait for these bolts. But luckily, so the next pro uh, problem that we ran into was the camshaft bolts didn't fit. 
So if you're running Comp Stage 2 cams and you have, I believe, it is the uh, Romeo engine, you most likely will need to swap your cam bolts. Uh, I sh I, the, all the answers I got online were kind of 50-50. So, uh, I mean, I'd go ahead and order them because you can always return them, especially if you get them off Amazon, but I needed two of them. And that ran me about $94. So $60 uh, harmonic balancer bolt and then another 94 bucks on two camshaft bolts. Kind of stupid, but you got to do what you got to do. But hopefully we're going to have the motor back in the car soon um, with the new clutch and the flywheel and all the other goodies and the X-pipe too uh, and the headers. And I'm super excited to see how it turns out. Hopefully I can catch its first startup, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty cool. So hopefully it runs all right. But uh, but yeah, hopefully on next the next video that I do, the motor's back in the car. That is fingers crossed going to be the next video. Um, and if you're wondering about Jason's new edge, that is a GT with the uh, bullet intake and. Uh, CMS Stage 2 cams, I believe, which are also known as Cushman Stage 2 cams with a uh, Flowmaster exhaust and a Bassani X-Pipe catted. So that thing sounded pretty mean. I really like that. Nice chop to it. Um, really well taken care of car. So shout out to him because you don't see a lot of them that are in that mint of a condition. That was really good. I really I really like seeing one that was actu actually like pretty much perfect in my eyes. I don't know. There, maybe there's like little things here and there that he would spot, but that thing was like pristine. So huge shout out to him because that thing's awesome. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you, if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and a subscription. I'll see you guys all next time.